Hello, Sim here. So in the last video, quite a few of you asked me, why the heck were you using Reactive Sim? I mean, you know, Xbox is preemptive, right? Now, as I mentioned in my last video about this, that they've done all the speed improvements, and no, I still haven't got around to doing the whole modem to net do my test because I need to dismantle my home network. So, you know, it'll be post this weekend, I guess, with luck. Anyway, so I was doing like a, you know, some experimentation. I always do. I was like doing a factory reset and doing some speed tests because I was just curious about something. So, OK, so if I go over to congestion control, you know that if you set in the bandwidth and I just set in some, some, you know, 75 and 17, some just key values. Uh, and I know, I know I had them slightly different before. Anyway, so that takes, those values are taken into account when you slide, slide around these sliders. So, but when it's 100% here and share access is not unticked, for example, so device prioritization doesn't come into effect with these three devices. You can see it's been freshly rebooted and nothing's been switched on. Um, but anyway, so if I go preemptive, 100% so there's no throttling of any kind being done by the Duma. And we go over to speedtest.net and I click begin test. Let's see what type of speeds I get. And I'm going to accelerate the footage uh, to make it, well, well, more enjoyable. So with preemptive ticked, I get 58 and a half megs down at 17.2 megs up. So if I go back over to congestion control and turn it to reactive, rerun the test. In my little second tab that got handy, ready to rock and roll. And we will see what type of result we get. And I was quite shocked because last time I was doing this and I was recording two streams, well, not streams, but two pieces of video at the same time, this type of footage right now and my game console footage. And I thought, oh, my PC is just, uh, it can't cope, man. It just can't cope. It's struggling. And you go, wait a minute, I just put this to reactive and I'm getting 75 megs download. Oh, my laptop might not be quite as dead as I thought it was. But what do I get for my upload speed? It's looking like about the same. So the main impact that the reactive has is on your download speeds by miles. Yes, 74.9. Let's call it 75 megs versus hmm, 58 and a half. Which one do you want? So that is the kind of difference it is between preemptive and reactive. And I thought I'd just put a quick video out there because, yeah, it's quite impressive, actually. Um, that's the type of speeds I would expect to get. But you might not expect preemptive and reactive to have that kind of uh, influence on your download speed. So if you're downloading big game updates, you don't need to do any of this bandwidth stuff here. Just keep it on reactive and you'll get super duper fast downloads happening. Hey, good news. So I thought it'd be a quick short video to share with you guys because hmm, there you go. Interesting stuff and hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, this has been Sim.